Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Plays Week 264. Guess what? If you guessed another HyperX headset giveaway, you're right. So make sure to stay tuned after the plays. All right, let's do this. Kicking us off at number 5, we have London on Sivir. The play starts off with the enemy jungler coming in hot for London and her support. Heal and exhaust are burned, but that's not going to be stopping them from taking down the Robocop. Ezreal gets cocky and decides to 1v1 Sivir in a sea of minions. Her boomerang blade hits both Ezreal and Tom Kench on the front and back. She flashes, resets her auto with ricochet and gets the kill and level 6. She uses on the hunt and lets Tom Kench's shield fade and then goes for the bench. Echo throws out the time water. She absorbs it with spell shield and she takes him down just before the convergence activates. At number 4, we have TIG Instinct on Orianna. The play starts off with Instinct and her team pushing the second tier mid lane turret. Waiting for the right opportunity, she sees it and juts forward with the prototype belt and lands a 5-man shockwave into a destructive wombo combo. Bullet Time, Glacial Fisher, and even Crowstorm are all a part of the fiesta, getting her team the ace. Looking back at it, the belt gets her in a perfect position. We Dota now, boys. Our first Master Tier play for this episode comes from Kampma4 on Darius. Kampma immediately rushes after the Yasuo. He's going to be hitting him with a crippling strike. Braum jumps in, takes a decimate with his teammate. However, Yasuo gets a three-man knockup into a last breath, into a three-man convergence stun. And it's not looking good for his team, but Kampma finds Yasuo in the clump and ults him, getting the reset. He chases after the Echo, gets the execute. He targets Braum next for the triple, gets exhausted, tries to hit Tristana, but gets pushed back by Buster Shot. Tristana tries to finish him off with Rocket Jump, but she gets dunked on, and poor Ram Ramus accepts his fate and Kampma gets the Penta. At number two, we have a different type of bard play from Diamond 2 player, Kirion. Kirion's team just got wiped out and he has to defend his nexus from a Vladimir, Ezreal, and Azir. They quickly take down his turret and Ezreal focuses Kirion and forces him to back. However, by the time he gets back to the fountain, they're already on the Nexus turrets. He gets a stun on Vladimir, steps up for a Meep attack, and slips away with Magical Journey. One tower down, Azir decides to go on the offensive and gets Kirin low, but with the turret focusing them, he Zonias just as Kirin drops a Tempered Fate. Azir not affected, comes out of Zonias and gets taken out. Ezreal and Vladimir focus on the last turret and get it. Another Cosmic Binding holds Ezreal down, but Kirion is just trying to delay as much as possible. Arcane Shift is used to dodge the second one, but the Cavalry finally arrives Echo goes on Ezreal as Lucian goes on top of Vladimir. Ezreal has Guardian's Angel but does not last long. Kyrian's teammates immediately teleport to the enemy base where they eventually, and spoiler alert, win the game. And the number one spot goes to our second master tier play, Kaioku's Bay on Ezreal. A fight breaks out in the jungle and the red team back off as Trundle teleports in. Kaioku is going to be staying in the back line and shooting mystic shots for days, so we got a counter for you. Elise gets pulled by Blitzcrank and gets squashed, and Trundle tries to tank the front line, but even with Subjugate, he's forced to back off. Malphite lands a two-man unstoppable force as Kaioku flings his true shot barrage at Blitzcrank, finishing him off with Arcane Shift. He Q auto cues Lucian for the kill and he starts to kite back with his Iceborne Gauntlet. He shifts away from Star Surge heals and flashes, avoiding the star damage and Ryla slow. Twisted Fate comes back into the fight and lends a yellow card, but he gets flanked by Shaco, but it's enough to give Kaioku the quadra. Alistar comes back as well, drops an exhaust on the Shaco and gets a headbutt pulverized combo. Shaco uses Hallucinate, deceives, and takes down the Courageous Cow, but this allows Kaioku to come back over the wall and claim his Penta. And for our bonus play, we have Dark Evil Panda on Ramus. Dark Evil Panda is going to be showing you how dark he really is by going full Sanic speeds and hunting down the Jinx, reminding ADCs that the tank meta is coming back. <laughs> Just you wait. Now it's time for you to get your hands on the new HyperX oh Revolver God, headset. All you have to do is click the giveaway link at the top of the description box and it will only take you 30 seconds to gain a free chance at a new fresh headset. Also, if you got the monies and you want a pair right now or for a buddy, you can help support us by using the link in the description box to pick up a pair. That's going to do it for us this episode. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. From me and the Potato Monster crew, we'll see you next time.